So you've reached Endgame in Guild Wars 2 and you were enjoying everything great about it. And then you see a hammer bashing war machine. And suddenly you realize you have serious hammer envy. You decide to create a new character, but you really don't want to deal with leveling all the way to max in that arduous journey that lies ahead. Well, that's where I'm hoping to help you out. This is how you can level your new character to max super fast without any crazy time commitments. I will make a note that if you are experiencing Guild Wars 2 for the first time, I do not recommend you speedrun this. I suggest you take your time and explore all the wonderful areas of Tyria and the beautiful core game. There will be plenty of time for the end game stuff, but you only see the core game for the first time once, so don't rush it. So the first and easiest way that you can level is through Tomes of Knowledge. These give one complete level guaranteed upon use. So if you have 79 of these, you basically have a free character boost. Tomes of Knowledge are gained a number of ways, but the main way that you would get them is through your daily login rewards. The other common way is through the PvP reward tracks. This works incredibly well if you are interested in fighting other players. In your initial playthrough, you are going to get quite a few of these, so this will definitely help. But I don't suggest you using them immediately as soon as you create a character. I would say use them right towards the end. For example, if you have three Tomes of Knowledge, save them for the last three levels. The later levels usually aren't that difficult to get through, but the first levels are easier in comparison. Also, if you do the Daily Completionist, which you will see in your top right, the tasks you usually do, like gather things, complete an event, or what have you, you can gain writs of experience from these chests. These offer 5% of your current experience bar, and you could also trade 20 of these for Tome of Knowledge, which just saves you from clicking a whole bunch of times. Alright, so let's talk about the level 80 booster. They are only available either from the gem store or free from an expansion purchase. Now, not much to be said on these. You use the item while being logged into your character that you want to boost and boom, you have a free level 80. Okay, so now you are out of terms of knowledge. That means that you gotta roll up your sleeves, get your hands dirty with some good old fashioned level grinding. Now there are a couple of things that you can do that will greatly speed up how fast you get to max level. First, let's talk about the buffs and consumables. The amount of consumables that you can have to boost leveling is actually pretty crazy. The first and obvious ones are gonna be the food and utility buffs. Your food buff that you are really going to be looking for is the 15% increase to experience upon killing an enemy. There are a handful of them that offer 15% while most offer 10. I prefer the fried banana chips, but you can also go with the bowl of candy corn custard. These make little difference as long as you are getting the 15% increased experience. Next, let's pick up the utility enhancement. These can literally be any of the enhancements, like a rough sharpening stone, as they all offer 10% increased experience upon killing an enemy. I suggest buying a stack of this as well as the food because they are roughly only a silver piece for a single one, most of them are less, and each of them lasts for 30 minutes, so you can really have a lot of uptime with these. The next big buff for experience is the experience boosters, found here at the Laurel Vendors. This costs a single laurel and you acquire laurels naturally just from your daily login rewards. And the chances are that you have quite a few of these just sitting around. The experience booster will grant you 50% increased experience from everything on top of getting an active kill streak buff as you, well, murder. <laughs> the next buff you are going to need is the guild hall experience buff. Now this varies depending on the level of the guild that you are part of. If you can, join a very large guild, as this can easily give you a 10% increase to experience from all sources, if the guild hall of course is high enough. I'd also like to mention guild banners, as you can use the different variations of the banners to gain up to 15% additional experience upon killing an enemy. However, you do have to have guild commendations with said guild to purchase them, and that requires you to participate in guild missions. Keep that in mind. You might be able to get someone in the guild who does have those commendations to drop one for you. However, these only last for 30 minutes. This brings our total to 60% increased experience from all sources, as well as an additional 25% for each enemy that we kill. That's not too bad. Real quick though, how many max level characters do you have? 
comment down below. I, I just I just have enough to cover the nine professions. Okay, so now let's talk about where you're going to be focusing your efforts with all of your buffs ready to go. Now recently, thanks to patch updates, ArenaNet has added in the Adventure Guide. The Adventure Guide rewards you for doing basic activities that you were going to be doing anyway. Things like dodging attacks, talking to the scouts, or just honestly applying conditions to enemies. Literally the basic things that you will be doing anyway will grant you extra experience as you complete the chapter volumes. Super simple way to get all sorts of crazy experience. These scale with the adventure chapters and even go into completion of specific zones. So keep an eye out for them and if you're nearby, go check them out. You can always keep track of these achievements by opening the hero panel tab and going down here and selecting which adventure guide you're working on. Now, a quick note about where we will focus as the way that experience works in Guild Wars 2 is that the longer that a creature has been alive in any given map, the more exploration experience it grants when it is killed. This is all mobs, so kill the neutral ones as well. To exploit this, we are going to either go to the Norn starting zones or the Char starting zones. Reason being, they tend to be less populated when compared to the human or Azura or Silvari zones, meaning there is a better chance a mob has been there alive longer. When you are out and about in these zones, you are also going to want to prioritize any meta events that are happening or any real events that are going on. If you're in a zone that has a world boss, try to time that as well. But generally speaking, doing map completion in these zones will get you a handsome chunk of experience. As a note as well, don't forget to gather. Mining nodes, gathering lumber, grabbing herbs will significantly help you down the road as far as materials are concerned, but these also grant experience when you gather them. Now, every 10th level, you will be able to do the story missions, which are great experience for the amount of time that you actually have to put into them, especially the early level. The later story missions tend to be longer, but still offer great experience so it's kind of up to you as you are climbing in the levels do your best to stay in level appropriate zones as these tend to grant more scaling experience with your current level again staying within the norn and char zones only hopping out to handle story missions if you so choose before i get into the other non-traditional ways of leveling fast make sure you add a thumbs up to the video and hit that subscribe button because elementalist is downstate rotation Oh, we'll figure that out later. Some other ways that you can level that are pretty good as far as gaining experience is through crafting, which as you discover new recipes, these can generate some crazy experience pretty fast. But most of the time you will need to buy materials to make those recipes and thus could cost some gold. I find it slower in my opinion, but others have said that you can level super quick from crafting, specifically the cooking skill. So maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I've also heard some players will teleport to a friend enjoying the meta events in either Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire, or End of Dragons. I have no experience with this, and I'm not sure that it can still be done, but I'd imagine if it could, those metas will give out a mess of experience very, very fast. But of course, that's at the danger of being around strong max level mobs. If you have done something like this or have seen it done, comment down below so that other players may be aware of this. You can get to max level literally any number of ways, as basically everything in this game gives you experience. If you are just hitting max level and unsure of what you should do first, click this video here to see the most important things you need to accomplish immediately when you hit level 80. Stay caffeinated, folks.